Natural Solutions, Stacy Paulson. So we're going to talk about safety guidelines when using essential oils. Now, most of us have an experience where we get an essential oil where we shouldn't, maybe in our eyes or sometimes in our ear, uh, but you don't want to put oils directly in your eyes and you don't want to put them directly in your ear canal. They're so potent that they're just too strong to put them directly in there. So you want to avoid doing that. However, if you get it on an area like your eyes or on an area that's sensitive, especially sensitive, oftentimes men will put essential oils on and then they go to the bathroom and they get on sensitive areas. So know that if this happens, you don't want to use water to wash them off because water and oil don't mix. So you'll want to make sure that you use some type of oil. I prefer fractionated coconut oil and why I do is because it doesn't stain your clothes, it doesn't have a scent, and it quickly absorbs so and it helps with that dilution so I use fractionated coconut oil we have it around in our house but if you have if you just don't have that on hand that you could use coconut oil olive oil even lotion uh, that would help to dilute that that sensation you can wash out your eye you actually put drops of the fractionated coconut oil in there or you can wait it out because it will go away within a couple of minutes um, but it is uncomfortable so some oils are also considered warm or hot. So if I put it directly on my skin, for instance, oregano or cinnamon, that if I put it directly on my skin, especially on certain areas of my skin around my neck, um, my stomach, um, that they, it will cause it to feel really warm or burny. And so you'll always want to dilute those oils unless you're putting them on the bottom of your feet so that you can avoid that. Um, Another thing to consider is that with, with children, if there are those warm oils that you'll always want to dilute and highly dilute those and you can test them out on yourself and you can put a little bit on them and see how it, it goes and then you can put more on. Um, or you can avoid those oils altogether. There's so many different oils that you can choose from that some people just avoid using those hot oils on infants or children. Also know another safety guideline is that if you're using citrus oils topically, so I'm not talking about aromatically or internally, but if you're using them topically, you want to make sure that you avoid the sun for 12 hours for that area. So if I put something on my hands for some reason that when I go out into the sun, I want to make sure that I either avoid the sun or I put sunscreen on that area, cover them up because they be, citrus oils will make you more photos. Um, as sensitive to the sun with burning. But if you're using sunscreen, that it can help to avoid that, using an umbrella, staying out of the sun. But that's only if you're using them topically and you want to avoid just that area that you applied them to. You want to avoid the sun for up to 12 hours. So also pregnancy, we, are these safe to use while you're pregnant or nursing? Most of the oils are safe to use while pregnant or nursing. And you want to refer to your um, your essential oils guide to see which oils are considered safe. There are some that you may want to avoid at different uh, trimesters of your pregnancy. And so just be aware of that. One thing is uh, that you some people will avoid using them internally because it is, they are very potent when used internally and so sometimes they'll just avoid using them internally during their pregnancy. Um, those are just a few cautions, but we do have some more information about using them during pregnancy because they are fabulous. They are fabulous support for fertility during your pregnancy for delivery and postpartum. There are some fabulous oils that you um, will want to look into if you are pregnant or nursing or wanting to become pregnant that can really help support um, your reproductive system and the whole process of going through pregnancy. And also, if you have a critical health condition, you'll want to make sure that you consult your, your health care provider and work with them with using essential oils. Also, some people may experience a cleansing reaction because the essential oils will help eliminate toxins from your body that if you are eliminating those toxins too quickly, you may have one of these um, reactions. And that might be you get a headache or you might um, lack some energy, feel a little bit tired. Uh, you might get a, a rash, but basically your body's trying to get rid of these toxins too quickly. And so what you'll want to do is um, lower the dose of essential oils that you're using. If it's on your skin, you might try not using it on your skin. You could use a different um, method of using the oil, whether it's aromatically or internally. You could um, switch out the oils or uh, 
Um, oh, and one other thing that you'll definitely want to do is you'll want to increase the amount of water intake because water, as you're consuming it, help to flush the toxins out of your body. So that's something, especially if you're new to using essential oils, that you want to make sure that you're getting enough water because you'll naturally start detoxing. Um, and that will help you to flush those from your body and to avoid those, those reactions.